Defining SDN is not that easy because there are many facets of implementations. What it exactly means depends on the type of problem that you try to solve. The advantage of SDN solutions, however, is they often provide a mean to solve a problem in a way that is easier to reproduce and much more scalable. Accordingly, the real business driver for SDN is flexibility. Taking a look about the technical aspects of SDN, we typically see a layered approach of abstraction, which has proven to work great in the forwarding plane. In the forwarding plane, we have seen that exchanging one layer is very easy without the need to actually adapt the other layers, as long as the interface between our layers stays the same. In the control plane, however, we do not have real abstraction, as we are usually involving a proprietary CLI or graphical user interface to actually tell the device what it should do. In the SDN architecture, we usually have a centralized controller with a defined northbound interface to our orchestration tools and a southbound interface to our networking hardware. The controller translates requests from the northbound interface to instructions that are understood by the networking devices. So the purpose or philosophy behind software-defined networking is to tell the network what it should do and not how it should do something. This does not resolve the entire complexity, but hides it. The key is to centralize what you can and distribute what you must.